Hi right, guys, and welcome back to Fibercraft. As you can see, well, as you can probably guess, we're down in the basement in the doom and gloom of my base. And we're going to give you a bit of an update of what we've been doing. So let's get into the episode. Okay, let's get on with this episode, and here we go, let's change the mode, there we go, as you can see, here's a bit of a clue in my hand, a bit of redstone, so we've, yeah, we've been doing a bit of redstone, well, we've changed, first of all, we've changed down in the base here, uh, we had a few issues with the guardians, with them being um, um, named guardians down here, for some reason Minecraft was throwing up a few um, errors. Um, the server was throwing up errors, uh, whereas every now and again they would um, disappear when you log back in. And the server would try and put them back and they'd be invisible. And this would cause an error and the server would use more and more and more RAM and more and more and more and more and, more, and then it'd crash. Really strange. But anyway, we've changed that and we've done this. So we'll show you that, you know, that's not too bad. I don't think that's a bad design. Could be better, we might change it later. But uh, we've also done a little bit more stuff. And let's see if I can show you out here without killing myself. If you look up there, um, here we go, there we go. You can see we've done a fair, a fair bit more redstone all the way up there. Yes. I have finally done it guys, we've finally completed, well, nearly completed it, the uh, floor call isn't finished, but if you get in here and go like this, it might be a bit noisy, um, but guess what, it stops at each floor like this, and press the next one and it'll go to the next floor, there you go, and it should, if I've got it right, it should stop at each floor. They might not, all the floors might not be complete. I can't remember if I've completed them, but look, here we go. Different floor. This is one of the sugar cane. So we've come up now. One, two, three. This is the fourth floor. Let's go in again and go up some more. Yeah, this has taken a heck of a lot of work. More work than I care to... Uh, to imagine, yeah, um, it's taken not hours, days of uh, redstone. This comes into the, my back area uh, where I keep some of my stuff. Um, obviously, some of this is not finished yet, the pattern's not right because I've just botched it together so I can show you guys. And then we go right to the top, and here we have a surprise as well. Yes, I've changed up here as well. There you go, guys. I don't know what you think so far. But this is what we've got so far. I did it off camera. Because doing these is an absolute pain. And it's so boring to watch. And these are, you know, like half... Well, not even a half. The quarter of a globe. Um, so, yeah. Each one of those goes around there. I'll let you into secret. That one there is slightly different to the other three. Don't ask me why, um, I think it's something, I think I changed it slightly so I could fit it in here. Because it, it's really tight up against there. Um, so yeah, all I, not, what I need to do now is make some fancy columns coming down here, which that will be sorted out later. Um, so far all I've done is do these, these columns here like that, with the lights in, you know, the end rods in the top and bottom here. I just thought I'd light up in the corners and it might it makes a nice lighting effect on the glass if you look. It looks quite nice. I'll, sh I'll sh fl go up and fly and show you what it looks like from above. Let's go and have a look. There you go. So it looks quite good. Even though I do so when I say so myself. So it's right up against the iron farm and the iron farm still works. Ouch. Um, I put the cyan concrete down here at the edges and then put cyan glass in the middle 
I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. So, if, well, I put these in at first. I don't think I'm going to have these. What I might do is I might change these into glass going up here. Just different colour of glass. I might have cyan glass sections in each side. Just curving round and going down into here. Um, it's going to be a difficult section to do that, to be honest. So, yeah, that could be quite a difficult one. I might do them actually straight across. Uh, just going diagonally across on each piece. It might look quite, it might look quite quite good because it's instead of being curved there, then it might just go straight there instead of curving again. Um, so we'll see what that looks like to be honest. Um, I like the idea of having it straight across there. Uh, you know, having a flat surface but having it curved this way instead. Yeah, I think I'm at, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Yeah. That, that's made my mind up. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to curve that in with cyan glass going down there. In fact, we could start some of that today and just see what it looks like. But I've taken all the scaffolding blocks out now. <laughs> um, will testify to this. He saw me. I was teasing him a little bit. He uses a lot of um, netherrack um, freeze build over there. Um, I'm not going to show you too much. Yeah, but he uses a lot of netherrack for his build over there. And I use netherrack for my scaffolding blocks over here, just to tease him a little bit. I know, I'm evil. <laughs> I am actually intending on giving him some netherrack when I've finished. But yeah, so we've finished that off. And that's looking quite good. Um, we also did a few other things. Um, let's just float over here. And I'll show you what's happened over here. On the stream, I'll let everybody know. Um, I designed this down here, Mushroom Farm, on a live stream. Um, it's the first Mushroom Farm I've ever designed. And you know something? It works really well. Here we go. So every single one of these is full. Every now and again, you get some that don't cook. But it's quite rare, as you can see. And wow. Okay, so we're nearly full to the top. And I haven't been AFK over here at all for a while. Um, so that's full. So I just thought I'd give you an update of what we're going to be getting up to. And like I say, I'm going to fill in the cyan glass on the sides there and see what that looks like. And then we're going to do something fancy around the side of here. Now I don't know if I'm going to curve it down. I actually might curve that down. Oh, in fact, I might curve it under and down. What I might do is I might curve down there like that and then down like that. So it's got like it tucks under a bit and then goes straight down. We'll have to see how we go. Um but I think this looks a bit better and it's also when we're doing stuff in here it's not raining. And it also gives us more storage and things up here. Um I intend to put some trees up inside here or you know and stuff like that. I also want to do a simple tree farm somewhere as well. Um, because I want to start and do some other builds rather than just the base here. I want to put some some mega storage somewhere else. I want to have a super storage somewhere where, you know, all of the people on the server can go and put into this storage and then when they need to they can go and take out of the storage. So I'm planning on putting that probably up over that hill somewhere. Uh, where you can just go and put stuff in the storage and then when you need it you can go and take some out. And it's going to be for everybody. So they don't have to keep coming to my base and, and robbing me blind. Um, and I'm going to make it as efficient as possible. So there's going to be no hoppers. It's going to be water streams. Um, the only hoppers are going to be the ones that actually take the items into the, to the back of here to sort it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do all that. Um, let's go over to... let's have a look. Where have we gone? Here we go. Over here. Down here. Um, and now we can still fly down here as well. I've also moved the portal down. If you look, it's on an angle slightly there. And then down here. It's uh, made it easier to fly down. Because uh, I usually go to that one or this level. Um, and the portal, when it was up higher, it was stopping me getting to both. 
I've also shortened it off a bit, took the beacons out the middle of here. We didn't need them. Uh, so that's now in the middle of the of the place there. Uh, like I say, with it going down a bit, it makes it easier. Uh, we've also I've also got the villagers thing working, and it works like a dream now, except for the villagers can control still, and it's really annoying. <laughs> so I've got a few more. Blast protection for, for 19, which is not too bad. And where's the other one? We've got silt touch for 8, but we've also got silt touch for 5 somewhere. I'm breaking 3, that's not too bad. Um, I can't see any more yet. Um, he can go, we don't need him. Excuse me, thank you, bye. All these green coats here, they can go. That can go. Um, he can go. He can go. He can go. I'm just getting rid of all the ones that don't really need it. He can go, because I don't need him. He can go, because I intend to, at some point... Because nobody's taken over the witch farm yet. The, the, we've got a quad witch hut somewhere. And I think I'm going to go over and, and make a base. Well, not make a base over there, but make a quad witch hut. A witch farm. So people can go over there and AFK and get loads of redstone and um, glowstone and stuff like that. And all the good stuff. Um, it might save us a little bit of hassle. Um, I'll show you what I did behind here. This has been changed as well. This is quite nifty, this. This is my own design. So they come along here and they drop down here. And a piston goes across there and stops any more coming down. And while it's down here, it releases that. And when it gets the minecart gets to about here, this piston goes across and pushes the uh, villager across there. Well, obviously it takes a tiny bit of damage. But it pushes him over there. And so he flips, he goes into the minecart, and it works every single time. It never stops working now. Whereas at one point, when they came down, they dropped in there, and sometimes the minecart would go, and it would miss the villager. Well, now it never misses. Like I said, they take a tiny bit of damage each time, but it's nothing really. Um, and that works like a dream. So I'm really pleased with that. And you know, please excuse me. Uh, my voice is going again. Uh, I've got a really bad throat, uh, sore throat, and uh, my voice is starting to go again. So it looks like I might be getting laryngitis yet again, which is deep joy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we don't need a Fletcher, and I can't click him. Oh, we don't need a fisherman. Oh, we might need a f you know, something. I might keep the fisherman and see what um, what fishing rod he comes up with. You might come up with a decent fishing rod. Um, that's my bed. Right, that's my spare bed. I need to sort that out. I need to sort everything out here. I don't really need that glazed terracotta. I might throw that away. It's only one piece. Let's just throw that all down there for now. I don't need that just at the moment. There we go. We're all cleared. Um, yeah, so we've... We're getting pretty much sorted now. We're getting all the villagers in. Once I've got all these, I shall go down and name them all. I've named some of them. Um, I am villager, but I'm going to give them proper names. If you would like to have a villager named with your uh, Minecraft name, let me know, drop me a comment, and I will name one of my villagers with your Minecraft name. Um, we might even put a head on it because I, you know, I have a head drop shop. Yep, I have a head drop shop where I don't think I can call the lift down here. It's supposed to work, but it's don't think it still works. I think it's still broken. Yeah, you'll watch it'll turn up there in a minute. Um, which is a shame, really. That's the only bit of the lift I haven't got working yet. So I really need to sort that out. Um, the only other bit we need to go to is, we'll go across here, I'll show you what we did in a live stream, and I plan on finishing some of that off. Um, let me go out here. So if we go up here, this will show you what we've been up to up, to up here. We just eat some food. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, that's good. 
Um, yeah, I did a cam reveal, by the way, on the live stream. So if you want to see what I look like, check out one of my live streams. You'll be very surprised. So we go up here, and it's this one we need to follow here. And look, I can't even fly again. There we go. We're going again. We don't need to go very far. Yeah, so what I've done is I've done it up here instead. It was much quicker. And because it's down there, we can go in and out. Straight to here. And this is where I started making the sheep farm. So each one of these is where, a sheep, where two sheep are going to go. And I've done it like this so that the sheep don't bang together. And what you do is you... On a rail, in a rail car like this, and you're just right and clicking, and you're just going past like this. Click, 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 and it gives you all the wool, and that drops on there, and then there's a hover minecart that runs up and down underneath here. And that just collects all the uh, wool afterwards. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing, I don't know whether to do one going up and down here, or do it one that just goes all the way around and just follows around after you. I think I might just do these up and down this one. Uh, and then have a piece at this end where it catches everything. So th I think that's what I'm going to do. But that's what I did so far. But I got blew up, blown up on the live stream and lost all my XP. Which is a bit poor. <laughs> yeah, so um, next time you see me, um, hopefully I should have some more of this finished. And I should have some sheep in place. Um, that's what I plan. I've got all the sheep over here, they're all named. There you go, sheepish. Just feeling a bit sheepish. Um, I've got every colour down here, so there's 16 colours. I've got plenty of goodies here, ready to build up. So all we need to do is actually build it. Um, I've lit up a massive area. Um, so basically I just need to get on with it. I don't like using the hopper minecart, so that's the only problem. Um, hopper minecarts tend to have a, a bad thing when it comes to loading and unloading, so I'm going to have to make sure um, F3 and G I think it is, there we go I'm going to have to make sure that where the minecraft stops it's not on a chunk border which that's not, it doesn't hit any borders at all uh, so if I do another one here and maybe another one next to it then I should be safe as long as the minecart doesn't go out of the chunk border, out of the chunk here I should be fine. In fact, I might pull that in a little bit. So all the redstone's in the same chunk as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So, right. That's going to be it for now, I think. Right, guys. So, if you like the video, please drop us a, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, Please um, follow us and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And um, we shall see you in the next episode where I think we should have the sheep farm finished. And we're going to come up with some kind of design for a wither skeleton um, farm. Which that should be fun. Because we need some uh, uh, a better way of getting wither skeletons. Let me just turn that off. There we go. So I've got those off. So yeah. So we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. And also thanks for my thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Goodbye for now. Yeah.